Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial on performance tuning techniques in SAP BODS. When we are dealing with zillions of data and creation of bigger databases is becoming a day-to-day -day activity, it becomes imperative to optimize the jobs created in business objects data services. The data volume is increasing exponentially day by day and also becoming complex. Heavy data integrations are happening in BODS in the form of real-time jobs, bad jobs and also micro bad jobs. So BODS is considered to be one of the best ETL tools so far in the market as BODS not only is an effective tool for data integration but also that it has a front-end reporting tool that is web intelligence and uh, business objects crystal reports and so on. So the objective of the performance optimization is, is to improve the process and execution by implementing few known best techniques and the best practices in the different elements of the jobs. So in this tutorial we will discuss about the full pushdown technique and in the later videos we will also discuss about the other performance optimization techniques. Okay? So when it comes to full pushdown, a full pushdown operation is when all the transformations that we have done in uh, the jobs are pushed down to the databases and the data streams directly from the source database to the target database. So BODS has an inbuilt optimizer as you already know. So this BODS optimizer always tries to do a full pushdown operation when all the transformations can be pushed down to the database. So it is important to know the how uh, how this uh, optimizer modifies the jobs to be executed. For this, we should uh, know which uh, transformations or which SQL uh, got pushed down to the database and which are executed on the engine. So for this, we can see uh, in the menu you'll you'll find a validation option. From there, you can go to the display optimized SQL. In this, you can see the SQL that is you know being pushed down so you can also see the tables the group buys and the joins that are happening okay so so for this full push down operation to happen there are few conditions to be met so they are like the source and target tables should be in the same data store if they are in the different data stores the database link should be defined or if all the databases should have a linked remote server so, or we can also use the data transfer transformation for the full pushdown to happen. So, also there are a few points to remember. Upsert operation is pushed down for a full pushdown on the source database. So, what, what is an upsert? Upsert is a combination of insert and an update. Where an upsert, uh, when we use an upsert statement, um, if the rows are not already present in the table then the rows are inserted and if the rows are already available in the table then the those rows are updated this is the upsert operation so and, and we also have something like autocorrect loading which is already provided by SAP BODS and if we use this option the pushdown always happens on the target database so uh, for this autocorrect, if we are not using this autocorrect loading, the BODS generate a simple insert statement. Okay, so it's better to use the autocorrect loading. In the next tutorial, we'll also discuss in detail about the autocorrect loading option and the different options available for this. Okay. And uh, we also discussed about the database link. Just small info on that database link. So a database link allows the user to access the database object such as tables and views from one database I mean if from the other database so for this we also have to create a database link so create database link I mean see this is the syntax to be used and once the database link is created you can use the below and check uh, any table or anything okay yeah thank you guys thank you for watching Please subscribe to our channel.